the National Weather Service has three main tools at their disposal to let you know of weather that can damage life or property. Watches, warnings, and advisories are all relayed through the media, weather.gov, your NOAA weather radio, and other outlets to let you know of hazardous weather. But what do they actually mean? Well, follow me and we'll talk about it. To better understand what these mean to you, it's best to separate them into two groups. Watches go in one group, while advisories and warnings go in another. First, let's start off with the watch. A watch means that now is the time to prepare as conditions are favorable for future development. A watch is issued well ahead of an event. For a severe thunderstorm watch, expect to see one a few hours ahead of impending significant weather. For a winter storm watch, it can be up to 48 hours ahead of time. From there, the weather service has three options. You can remove the watch and replace it with nothing if the forecast indicates no severe weather will be present anymore. Or you can change it to an advisory or a warning. Both an advisory and a warning indicate that hazardous weather is occurring or imminent. A warning means that damage to life and property are expected, while an advisory means weather will just be a significant inconvenience. It's important to note that going from a watch to an advisory is not a downgrade, and by the same measure, going from a watch to a warning isn't an upgrade. That being said, going from an advisory to a warning is an upgrade, while going from a warning to an advisory is a downgrade. Let's use winter weather as a real life example. So let's say a winter storm is coming on Friday. On Wednesday, the National Weather Service issues a winter storm watch. Now is the time to buy rock salt and get the shovels out of the shed. Road crews get their equipment together and start to brine. However, the snow is still two days away. That Thursday, the forecast for a winter storm holds. Either an advisory or warning will be issued, but which one? Well, using the southern part of New Jersey as an example, if snow is expected to range from 2 up to 5 inches within 12 hours, a winter weather advisory would be issued. If more than 5 inches are expected within that time frame, then a warning would be issued. However, advisories will go away in 2024. A majority of the 80,000 plus people surveyed by the National Weather Service say that advisories should be replaced by plain language statements. Joe Maketa, Warning Coordination Meteorologist for the National Weather Service in Mount Holly, said that this will be done to reduce confusion people have with advisories and place the focus on the most damaging weather events with a watch, which can then change to a warning. For Lee Enterprises, I'm Preston Valenic State Meteorologist, Joe Martucci.